Uh, and so um, and so that was in 1975, in the very early days. So, And the thing about um, Bhagwan, I call him Bhagwan, because that was the He's time Osho when now, he was Osho say, yeah. now, and call him Bhagwan, Bhagwan yeah. then. Yeah. For me, he was Bhagwan, um, was that he was very, very close to the source at that time. He, his presence was was, you know, palpable it was just so um and and so what happens you know ian is when you when your vibration comes along and is gets connected with somebody vibrating at that level your level comes right up of course so we were dancing and singing and you know this was this was the most alive and wonderful place on the planet at the time i have to say and i was there and you were doing the dynamic meditation in the morning, dynamic which is, meditation, which is that's a real meditation, that's isn't it? Because you meditation. do all different parts to it. My neck has never been the same since. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got deep arthritis in my neck for, from doing the right? dynamic. Yes, because really? you had to do this punching kind of movement. Oh. Um, and the, and but the most and the most beautiful, of course, was listening to his discourses in the morning. Mm. So every morning we sat for an hour and a half. And he would sit there with the Indian birds calling, you know, and the early morning sun coming through this beautiful garden that he had, and we all sitting in on this marble floor in silence. And then he would talk, and he talked about um, about the first time, the first discourse um, that I heard, he was talking about Jesus and Jesus' teachings. And, you know, you're just weeping, you're just melting and weeping, because in a way, well, of course, it's always, it's always the same. You know, if he's talking about Buddha, or he's talking about Jesus, or he's talking about the Zen masters, or the Hasids, or it's all, the truth is always the same. Um, it's the same stories, but, and there's something in you that knows it. That, that was the great thing, that it's like, oh, yes, at last, at last. Because this is this is the truth I know, you mm. know. People would say would afterwards would say would ask me, you know, how do you know it's the truth? It isn't about knowing. It isn't. It's about it's a resonance. There is no doubt. Because it's beyond the mind. So it isn't about well, this or that. No, no, no. It's it's a resonance inside you, which is why I think in a way a lot of weeping and a lot of melting. We used to melt. At the end, it would be very hard to get up off the floor, to, yeah. you know, to walk <laughs> off to your place of work. <laughs> it completely so you, melted. You stayed there in the ashram for a time, and at some point yeah. you obviously had to come back to, to England. And I thought, I'm, I'm fixed now. You know, I've, I've changed myself enough. I've, I've received the goodies, and now I can go back and be Mrs. Goff and be the mother and, you know, yeah. fulfil my roles. Um, because something has been has has altered for good, didn't work out like that. <laughs> so, but so I went back and actually ran a meditation, a, a, a Bhagwan meditation place for a couple of years but to I keep the you, energy going. You said in the book that um, when you got back, you wanted to share all these wonderful things, and people thought yes. you'd been brainwashed. Yes. That was quite tough, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was tough. Yes, it was yeah. tough. Yes, the extraordinary thing was, I went out to dinner then with some very intelligent people, friends of Mick's, teachers, and I went, and I mean, I'm all in my orange robes with my mala and everything, and we sit down to have dinner, and they did not mention it. And I'm yeah. waiting to be asked, you know, the good questions that never came up, and by the time we've got to the pud, you know, I think, Okay, you know, well, this yeah. is very interesting. Well, this is fear. They're, ju they're just too afraid to ask me, you know. Well, I don't know, because I, I was, as you know, I was a sannyasin disciple of, of, of Rajneesh for a few <laughs> years. And I, I was working in the world all that time. Okay, I was working in the music business, which was more open. But people rarely asked me about it. Sometimes they did. Um, and I think it was partly kind of embarrassment or awkwardness they didn't ask and some people did ask and were really interested but it was never any either people asked and were interested or nothing happened they just ignored it and, and then went on so I, I understand it's yes. just but it's strange because it means yeah. so much to you and so, so much has happened and you and this you have this feeling you want to share and talk about it yes but unless it's an invitation it's it's really 
it's falling on deaf ears. And I, of course, you and see. I wouldn't also, talk unless I was invited. Yes. They're afraid that you're going yeah. to try and yeah. do it to them. Yeah. You know. Anyway, that, so so you were back yeah. back as uh, Mrs. Goff again with uh, yes. with the kids, and uh, yes. so talk more about that. Yes. How that was that process of initially yes. there was the disappointment that people didn't acknowledge the fact yes. something was changing in you. Yes. How did you handle all that? Um, yes, it was, it was very tough. Yes, it was very tough. Um, in a way, and in another way, there's always been this very strong thing for me about growing vegetables, you know, leaving the, leading the good life. So, so it was okay to get back to feeding the chickens and, and so forth. Um, but with Mick it was harder because already we were beginning to have, we were, we were growing apart. We were growing apart. And then that was very painful. Mm -hmm. um, the children were wonderful because they just accepted it. But, but because, as I said before, the gods have been so generous with me, and just as I'm thinking, well, now, I need something else now because I need to keep this going, two lovely old sannyasins came and said, right, let's, let's get together and run a meditation centre. And there was a lot of interest, local interest. People wanted to know what it was we'd been doing and, and how they could become a part of it. So then we ran um, the, 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 the centre, which was great because we were doing the meditations and we were, we were sharing Bhagwan's words with other people and that, that nourished us as well. And how did you feel you were changing inside in terms of how you related to yourself and the world? Yes. Um, I think I think it was still disturbing. I think it was still there was still a lot of disturbance. It wasn't like you got it and said, Oh great, this is it. No, there was still there was still much much you know, uh, you know, there was a lot of emotional um uh emotional stuff in a way to go through and uh, and the fighting the fighting with Mick I was fought, fought of course I fought with my men you see so so the fighting would got more intense actually yes um, and of course we were encouraged you know to to um, to be more explosive in a way weren't we <laughs> we were encouraged to live to the maximum yes, yes. Yes, to yeah. live it totally. Yeah. Um, and at the same time in the meditations, the stillness was deeper. You know, so then, so then, so then it's like a dichotomy, isn't it? Because on the one hand, here's this, and on the other hand, the meditations were taking me deeper. So somewhere mm. you were finding more of the source of you. Yes. Do you feel that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well put. Yes. Yes. You know, and then much later, but at the beginning of that time, is that when you looked inside, it was like there was this little flame, like a candle. It was always still. There was no breeze. It was a still candle. And so later on in my life, when awful, terrible, ghastly things happened, if I actually could get to that place, there it was again, the still candle without a breeze, always there, actually. So it was always there, but it was just covered up. And yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. But it's a real gift if you know that's there, and that's yes. somehow that you can waiting, revisit it. And somehow it's the real you, yes. somehow. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I like this talking to you. <laughs> it's good. We're, we're going in. <laughs> So let's, I think a lot of people, you know, will love the, love the story because there's so much happens in your life. So let's just yes. sequentially go on a little bit more. So eventually your, your marriage breaks up. He's having affairs and not being very nice to you. You decide no more. Um, Is, am I, yes. I jumped too far ahead? No, there? no, it's good. No, that's, that's really, except we did, we did go on the buses overland. We did take that trip overland. You went overland to India, that's yes, right. Yes, we went yes. overland Tell to India. Tell us about that briefly, yeah. Oh, God, that was, that was such a, a wonderful and crazy and ridiculous journey. Um,